This is my mother-in-law Louise. Oh, nice. And this is my cow Louise. And this is farm to Brookdale. This time of the year is almost like a lottery on the farm. We've got uh, four calves so far this season that have been born and they, they're all different colors. We never really know what we're gonna get uh, from every cow. They come in all shades and colors and markings and um, we could have you know, a black and white cow have a brown and white calf one year and then a black and white calf the next year. So they're very diverse and it's always exciting to see what uh, what kind of calves we're gonna get uh, every season there it's just you just never know the behavior of the herd changes too when we've got calves uh, especially newborns they the cows and the yearlings will come up and curiously check out the newborns that the cows have introduced to the herd and the yearlings especially especially the the steers, they are so gentle with these newborns uh, compared to what they will be with the calves, you know, after <laughs> they've been around for a month or two, uh, they get uh, pretty rambunctious. But everybody acts as a babysitter during this time and uh, the mama's uh, not all by herself trying to take care of it. And uh, Louise here, she's, she's very trusting. Uh, some of them aren't, but as you can see here, she will push her calf from last year away just to make sure that that baby is safe. A new calf in the herd always introduces a lot of playfulness, especially with the yearlings, and in particular with the steers. Although the steers are, uh, you know, they will spar occasionally when there's no calf around, it seems like they get a lot more playful and, and uh, rambunctious when they're when there's a, a young one in the herd, I don't know if they're trying to show off or it's just the, you know, the playfulness is, is uh, contagious and they will chase the calves around and headbutt each other and that type of thing. I think the, the funnest part of, the, uh, of having new calves is actually watching this behavior and especially watching the calves play with each other. Uh, because, man, they can get fired up and chase each other around for a long time. And, and sometimes they wear the mothers out because the mothers are trying to keep track of them and follow them around and make sure they don't get into too much trouble. But it, it's a lot of fun to watch and uh, we can spend hours doing it. Pony Woods are a heritage breed and uh, unlike a lot of the commercial breeds that are out there, we actually don't have to help them birth their calves. They generally will go off in the woods and, and calve there and then they will bring out the calf in a, anywhere from two to four days to introduce it to the rest of the herd. Um, it's very seldom that we get to witness a birth or see uh, a calf, you know, immediately following, uh, following the birth because they'll be hiding it out. But sometimes we get lucky. We just uh, spotted Louise. Looks like she might have had a calf out here in the pasture. So we're gonna go and see how it's doing. This baby just was just born a few minutes ago. Cleaning it off, making her little mommy sounds. You can see it's still wet. Cute little one. And this is Lewis. He's uh, he's the little one's brother from last year. Oh, okay, she's trying to get up. Here we go. Come on, little one. You can make it. it takes a few minutes sometimes for them to get on their feet. Check her out. <laughs> yeah, tasting the air there, sticking his little tongue out. That little sound that uh, Louise is making is the mommy sound. 
make that for all their babies and oh goodness. Trying to clear his nose out. He's trying to get up and fall down. It's just heartbreaking. I just want to pick him up and stand him up. But they eventually get the hang of it. It takes a little while. stronger there. It won't be long before it'll be on its feet. Louise is trying to nudge it to get up, encourage it. What's that supposed to do? I mean, it's just... You've got to survive. you got to get going fast. That's right. Almost. Oh. <laughs> trying to feed, but it can't quite... So it got the wrong end. Be long before he gets up. Oh, there she goes. She's almost up. Get up on that foot. Come on, get that other foot up. There you go. That's it. She's up. Took about ten minutes. She's on her feet. Next thing she'll be doing is going for a feed. And we'll see how she does on that. She has an instinct of what where to feed, just sometimes takes a little while before they get there. The cow has a few things to tend to following the birth of the calf. One obviously getting it on its feet and uh, making sure that it feeds right, but also to protect it from predators, which she does by eating the afterbirth, and this also gives her a, a, a source of nutrients. Yeah. One of the most difficult things uh, that we've had to do is not get involved in this whole process. We've only witnessed three births on the farm, uh, but you know, when you see this and the calf is trying to find the teat at the wrong end or she just can't find it. Um, in the early days it was really difficult not to get involved, but we decided now that um, we're actually doing the breed a disservice for that because they ran wild for 400 years and, you know, they figured out all of this without anybody's help but their own. There are a lot of other farmers talking about having to pull calves and, you know, make sure that they do, that they get fed and find the teeth, you know, within the first 24 to 48 hours. And uh, I mean, they just, they just take care of themselves. They figure it out. And uh, a lot of that we think has to do with, uh, with just the genetics of them and what they have had to overcome in, in, uh, as, as a wild breed. And then there's this special moment. It doesn't happen with all calves and all cows, especially. The cow has to be trusting of you, first of all, to let the calf get this close. But the calf also has, I mean, they've all got different personalities and uh, this one here is especially trusting. Uh, but some of them will just dart off when you get too close to them. So being able to scratch her chin when she's only six, uh, six hours old is, is something special. Hi, Mom. I wish you were here with us today. Or we were there with you. <laughs> no, I wish you were here to see yeah. Louise's baby girl. Yeah, we wish Not you were this here. one. Not this baby girl. Although I guess I, what I wish is just that we were together. But since we can't be, we're going to cheer to you. We love you so much and we miss you. And know, please, that you are in our hearts and minds every day. We love you, Mom. Love you, Lou. Cheers. Cheers, big ears. <laughs> Bye. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. You, want you got a drink. <laughs> we love you, Mom. Love you, Lou.